Get your buds out so you can hear. Can't listen to Miss Houston, me or Miss Wagner. Can listen to music too. Got to miss anybody? Pam, can I give you one? Yeah. Everybody got a key? Yep. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Oh, no. <laughs> we're going to get in groups of three, and um, we'll get in groups in just a second after I get them explained. But um, we're going to uh, do an amphibian eye movie, and uh, you're going to sign up for a specific type of frog, salamander, a newt, or Sicilian. You get to choose what you want, your group to choose. You and the members of your group will create an iMovie on the amphibian that you choose. Um, the iMovie will be graded using the attached rubric rubric on the back. So you can look over that. And what does it say up here on the board? What do you mean three minutes? Yep, it's got to be three minutes. At least. <coughs> at least three minutes. What? We want the satellite. Oh, it doesn't matter what Just you want. Just hang on. Hang on. Now look, she said you'll get to choose, but if somebody's already chosen, you don't get to choose. It's taken. It's over. All right. So this is one period. This is going to be another period. It's going to be another period. So there's already, if there's not one in there, or there's one in there right now, you're fine. But once there's two in there, you're done. Yeah. This is going to be worth 175 points. Good. Great. Also, listen, I'm going to try to have some outside sources come in here to watch our presentations. All right. So. Um, I said, I don't know, outside sources like Mr. Cox. Mr. Galhar, call the main office. Mr. Mr. Galhar. Shepard and Mr. Galhar, are some outside sources to come in here and watch. So be weary of that. What you put on there, first of all, it needs to be factual. And what I mean by that, I had somebody that did, uh, when we did our fish project, first of all, let's get this out of the way. We're not giving, I'm not giving you time in this classroom to do this iMovie for you to play games, for you to look up, email, all that stuff. Y'all need to be working on this. Because last time I gave y'all that time, I probably had 30% of the people didn't do their project. Took zeros out of their project. Which their grade is suffering major. Y'all saw that on your progress before because of that. And then another half of y'all turned it in late because you didn't do it. All right, you decided you weren't gonna work on it in class. That we're not gonna, if I walk around and y'all are playing and doing this and doing that. We'll just, y'all do it at home. It's doable. I put a due date. Y'all can waste y'all's time at home and not my time here. All right, because I, I can't stand that. If I give you time to do something, you don't get it done. All right? And then um, make sure it's factual. I had somebody type it or put in a blue, or what was it, bluefin tuna's average size is 1,800 pounds. Oh, it's not. I mean, I mean it's not, that's like world record size. So make sure your stuff is factual, that you're not putting things in there like Wikipedia. We all know why we don't use Wikipedia, correct? I use a piece of junk. Why is it a piece of junk? Because anybody can get in there and edit and put whatever they want on there. All right? So that's why we don't use that as a source. So you got to look up things more than one place. I will also say this. Make sure you know how to pronounce your words. Don't put on iMovie and not know how to say something and pronounce it completely wrong. What if you can't pronounce it? There's a thing on your computer where you can save the word or whatever and it'll, it'll speak it for you so you can hear how it's done and then you can say it correctly. All right? Go ahead. All right. Um, you're going to have to do a script for this, okay? And it's going to be on this storyboard that we're going to pass out in just a minute. Um, are you going to pass out now? Okay. All right. You're going to uh, put your script whatever part of the script you're on in these boxes, um, what's going on? I want to know what's going on on the screen in these big boxes. Each frame. In, in the smaller boxes, you can put your transitions, what transitions you're going to use. On a separate sheet of paper, you're going to actually write out, Pamela is going to say whatever. Bailey's going to say whatever on this particular frame. It's just like a movie script. Mm -hmm. It says Christian Edwards, and then he says what he's going to say. And if he's talking to Brody, He'll say, Brody Slick, and it says what he's going to say. And then above it, if you ever read a, a story or a play in literature, they have scene, don't they? And they say, Brody and um, Christian are sitting at a ballpark in a ball game. All right, whatever. And, and then there's a, so you're going to tell us what is on that frame, like picture and all that. What, what is this? Frog hopping across the the thing, or frog sitting in a tree chirping, and then it'll say Christian Edwards. This is a barking tree frog. It's 
whatever, whatever, whatever. So you don't have it all done before you even start. This is your plan. Away. This is your plan for your baby, for your eye movie. Okay. Um, <clears throat> your eye movie must include classification, genus, species. <coughs> you have anything to say about that? Make sure you can pronounce it. Size, color, and features of your amphibian. We must have pictures, or you can even have videos of your amphibian. A detailed description of its habitat and map of its geographical location. Where is it located? And a picture of the live? planet Earth is not... <laughs> yeah, I know. Specific. What it eats, its diet. How many are there? Is it endangered? And if so, why is it endangered? Now, we don't need an exact... Is there going to be an exact number? There are 300,452... Uh, we're not going to have... Population means, like, is it a thriving population? Is it located all over the world? Is it... And when it says endangered, don't say no and then move on. All right? If it's not endangered, you talk about these populations thrive here. This is the reason why and all that stuff. So it needs to be detailed. All right, we got any special adaptations of your amphibian like? They all do. They all have, you might not think they're special, but they are. Just like I might not think you're special, but your mamas and daddies do, okay? So every every of the, one of these have special adaptations. Interesting, fun facts about your amphibian. If it has any known predators, and you're gonna use your rubric to guide you on how to format design your eye movie, okay? So we'll multiply every one of those numbers by five. So if you make like a two out on it, on the storyboard and planning, two times five is ten. So that will be your score on that part. Okay. And um, we've got our list of choices here. We're going to have one group per amphibian. So we want to go ahead. Miss Houston, tell them about the credit screen. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. At the end, um, if y'all look down here on the, uh, on the rubric, I want to make sure you know this. About the credit screen Christian. down at the bottom, you're going to make sure you have to cite. You're going to have to make sure to cite your websites. Any websites that you do, or any music that you use, you must cite on the credit screen. Okay, at the very end of your eye movie. I mean, think about it. Just like how I many credits on a regular movie last for they put. They got to write everybody and anybody that did anything. I mean, if they're just a Somebody that a, a, a stand-in person, it'll be like person number 226, and it gives them that, so they give credit for everything you do on there. Do you have anything else you want to add? Three, possibly four. Let's do, let's, I'm gonna try to do three. Try to do three. If there is somebody not here today that you think you're going to have in your group, go ahead and put them in that group, all right? So we're not going to ask you to do anything else but move into your groups. Maybe move into your three. groups. I'm going to come around to your group and give you a sticky note. You're going to write all the group members on the sticky note. Write your group members on your sticky note. Thank you, Mono. Can you see Christian Edwards down to the end of the conversation, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, make a new column. Don't put it in in that period hey, column. Hey, put it column. next to it. Put it in the middle, man. Put it in the middle. Man. We can get it too. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Y'all just going to do y'all? Uh, yes, ma'am. I mean, yes, sir. Uh, guys, if it has uh, no, no, if it has two sticky notes in it, you can't no. pick that one. Uh, guys. Go sit down. Quit playing. We got to go out that way. Yeah, please. Where are you? 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 Where are
Yes. Put all your dream numbers on the note. Eastern Tiger Thunder. Yes. Put the bad baby on the salamander. Eastern Tiger Thunder. There you go. Oh, wait. What? Put it, hey guys, there's columns. Look, columns. I got columns. Columns. Why is this so difficult? The very difficult kid. The spotted and the eastern look the same. So I will do the spot blow now. Do the fork and tree crawl. I ain't worried about the tree crawl. You got to go to the office. What's the northern tree crawl look like? Do uh, smooth move, move, move. I already got it. Let me see what northern. Hey, go. Were you trying to get we a cute a cute one? Salamander, palmate new, barking tree frog. Anyone? Bullfrog. Anybody got the bullfrog? I love yes. the bullfrog. Northern cricket frog. No Sicilians. Everybody's scared of Sicilians. Huh? Northern cricket frog. Northern Cricket Frog. Go, go get ten of those. Hey. What? I didn't know you yeah. Long time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. Alright, I'm going to break Who's great has not picked one? Which you want? Which you want? Barking Tree Frog? Call him. Call him. Call him. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. There we go. Is that everybody? <laughs> Anybody else? All right, look, like I said, I'm fixing to go around and who's in your group? Me, our general. Have you already picked? Y'all already got one? Here, I'm going to give y'all two storyboards in case you need to. Give y'all two in case you need to. So go ahead and start today. Start researching. And you can even go ahead and start pointing what you're going to put on your iMovie. You're finding some resources. And look, just like anything else, all right, just like anything, you cannot shoot a film until you have a script, all right? So you have to have every single detail planned out before you start shooting that thing. What's going to be on there? All right, the save the pictures, up. save this, save that, have everything lined up so when you start, it runs fluidly. You don't want to sit there and try to figure out oh, what we say, what we say, what we say, and then it's, it's going to look like that, it's going to sound like that. You can use video or still pictures. But we have to be able to hear your voice. Everybody's got to do something. Everybody's time. saying something. Oh, wow. So divide it up. Don't let their voice over? Yes. Uh, Gotta have a voiceover. <coughs> Everybody has to say something. I'm about to come around and start helping. If does anybody have any questions? Um, if you want to go ahead and get your, uh, if you want to get a video into iMovie, you're gonna. Click on it, download it to your desktop, and then pull it, drag it into the iMovie. And that's how you get it in there. Okay, classification. Um, I'm asking, like, what is the basic concern about classifications? Like, what does it mean? We've got to get, let's we'll see what it says. Where's your sheet? The direction sheet. That's just telling you to do the classification of genus and species. It's like that. That's that's just the genus and species. What's that mean? Degradation of degradation is kind of like a destruction of the pond. So it's like destroying their habitat. Exactly. Y'all okay. Actually, yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Slide or the shot, whatever's going on. You're going to number it. One, two, whatever's going on. Okay? These are the transitions right here. The big box is what's going on on the screen. Okay? Like, like the information, or you can put the website where you've got it. Because you're not going to credit that if you do something. Well, not necessarily. If you get a video, you're going to get a video. Thank you. 
Ambostomia typhoidea, genus Ambostomia, species Ambostomia typhoidea. 
most salamander size is up to 4 to 5 inches in length. Its color is dark brown to a black background color with white, gray, or silver flecked. Its features include a broad head, short tail, and short feet. Salamander, and also the bluegill sunfish. 